So before we start, let me share the word of prayer. Father in heaven, I thank you Lord for this opportunity that we are able to gather together to listen to your words. I ask your spirit to be with us and guide us through our studies. For this I pray in Jesus' name, Amen. Good evening and happy Sabbath to everyone. It's our pastor. Praise God that we are able to gather together here to listen to God's word. But before I start my sermon, I have a question for you all. Have you ever wondered what, how powerful God's word can be? Anyone? Okay, there are. Okay. So, my sermon today will be focusing on how powerful a prayer could be. Have you ever been in a situation where you feel so hopeless and it just all things that just didn't work out for you? And if that time comes, what will you do? From whom will you seek for help? Is it your family or your friends or maybe your school counselor? Look, it's not wrong to seek help from these people, but it's actually better for you to seek from God's first. Ask God how to simply through prayer. Now, did the Bible ever tell us about how powerful prayer is? Yes, exactly. Let's go through the Bible to find the evidence. So, let us open in 2 King chapter 4, verse 30 to 35. 2 King chapter 4, verse 32 to 35. And when Elisha was come into the house, behold, the child was dead and lay upon his bed. He went in therefore and shut the door upon them fine and prayed unto the Lord. And he went up and lay upon the child and put his mouth upon his mouth and his eyes upon his eyes and his hands upon his hands. And he stretched himself upon the child, and the flesh of the child was wet warm. Then he returned and walked in the house to and fro, and went up and stretched himself upon him. And the children sneezed seven times, and the child opened his eyes. So, this is a story about Elisha, who resurrected the dead child by, uh, only by a prayer. Do you see that? Even a prayer could raise someone from the dead. Now, let us go for another story in the Bible. Let us open in Acts chapter 9, verse 40 to 42. Acts chapter 9, verse 40 to 42. But Peter took them all forth and kneeled down and prayed, and turning him to the body, said, Tabitha, arise. And she opened her eyes, and when she saw Peter, she sat up. And he gave her his hand, and lifted her up, and when he had called the stakes and widows, presented her life. And it was known throughout all Joppa, and many believed in the Lord. So, this is, all, this is also a story about someone being resurrected from the dead. But, that's not only the point. As we can see in verse 42, it's also said that people started to believe in God after hearing about Peter resurrect someone from the dead. Like, it's a free gift. You are able to help someone by resurrecting them, resurrecting them, and also you are able to make God known to other people. Lastly, let's, let's open in James 5.17. James 5.17 Elias was the man subject to like patience as we are. And he prayed earnestly that it might not rain. And it rained not only a very space of three years and six months. So, I bet most of us have ever heard about this story before. The story about Elijah's prayer that had been answered by God. Do you think it's possible for the earth do not pray for three and a half years. Yeah, it's possible. It's possible only for God. 
So what I want us to learn from, from this uh, sermon today, we need to acknowledge how powerful prayer is. If you ever feel hopeless or you can go on with, with something, probably during trials or troubled times, uh, remember that even a dead body, a dead person could be raised from the dead, from the dead and the earth was not rain for three and a half years just because of an earnest prayer. So what should we do? What we need to do is just earn, ask earnestly from God and believe that He will answer our prayer. Matthew 7.7 7, Ask and it shall be given you, seek and it shall find. Knock and it shall be opened unto you. So friends, let us depend on God in everything we do. How? It's simply by we need to always spend our time for God to pray. Not just in prayer, but when reading His words and our personal devotion. So, let us close with the word of prayer. Father in heaven, thank you Lord for this time and this message that has been given to us. Thank you Lord for letting us know that your a powerful a prayer could be so powerful if it, if we ask earnestly from you. So God, please help us to always remember to pray for you, not only during our hard times, but also during our good times. Thank you, Lord, for always hearing and answering the prayer. For this, I pray in His name. Amen.